Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from class R2B And today we're gonna explain our assignment Which is about matrix My name is Muhammad Mustaqim bin Rosdi My name Hazi Fikri bin Tarizaman My name Muhammad Syamiyani bin Shamsul And, and we, we are, are from Bun 5 So in this assignment We will use matrix to solve problem And create a problem to solve We will we will also use various operation On this matrix Such as addition, multiplication Subsection to solve the problem. We will use the inverse matrix method and Kramer rules method in this calculation. So the first problem is we are given an assignment that we must determine the value of P and Q. So to do multiplication, we must multiply element of the first row of the first matrix with the elements of each column of the second matrix, and then we repeat the step for with other row of the first matrix. So, we will get P multiplied with 15 plus 5 multiplied with Q. Second, P multiplied with negative 5 plus 5 multiplied with 10. Next, Q multiplied with 15 plus negative 10 multiplied with Q. And lastly, Q multiplied with negative 5 plus negative 10 multiplied with 10. So, the next step is we bring the coefficient into the front and the variable into the back so we will get 50p plus 5q negative 5q plus 50 50q minus 10q negative 5q minus 100 and then we simple, simplify the 50q minus 10q and we will get 5q so the next step is we multiply with the 2 over 5 and we will get 6p plus 2q negative 2p plus 20 2q and lastly negative 2 minus 40 next from the matrix we convert into the four equation which is firstly 6p plus 2q equal to 40 second negative 2p plus 20 equal to 10 third 2q equal to 10 and lastly negative 2q minus 40 equal to negative 50 so from the from the equation we can find the value of p and q so we can use the second equation which is negative 2p plus 20 equal to 10 so we can find the value of p and then we solve it until we get p equal to 5 and then to find the value of uh, Q, we can use the third equation which is 2Q equal to 10 and then we tend that and then the number 10 we divide it by 2 and we get Q equal to 5 so to find answer if wrong or not we can use the first equation which is 6P plus 2Q equal to 14 and then for we, we from the answer we put it into the P and Q so we get 6 multiplied with 5 plus 2 multiplied with 5 equal to 40 and then we get the answer that's all from me so move to the another problem question 2 the problem statement is Imran bought 4 books and 2 pens from a bookstore for a total of 20 ringgits at the same bookstore Mortal box 2 books and 3 pens with a total of 2 ringgits less than Imran. First calculation, we must determine the total books and pen for Motak. So the keyword is total for Motak, 2 ringgit less than Imran. So total Motaks and pens for Imran, we must minus 2 ringgits and we get 18 ringgit. Continuous for statement taking x for represent the price of books and y to represent the price of n first we must transform keyword in, into linear equation for x plus 2y equal 20 for Imran and 2x plus 3y equal 18 for Motak and second transform the linear equation into matrix first bracket uh, 4 2 
two three second square bracket x y and and equal third square bracket twenty eighteen and calculate with inversion method. Step we must determine the magnitude four multiply three minus two multiply two is equal four eight. Second, we must determine inverse is 1 over 8. Transpose the first bracket into first row, uh, 3, negative 2, second row, negative 2, 4. Then we, we put bracket xy equal to 1 over 8. First bracket we put first row is 3, negative 2, second row is negative 2, 4. Second bracket, we put total price of book and pens, which is 28 and 18. Multiply these two brackets, we get 24, 32 in one bracket of matrix. Next, we multiply 1 over 8 and square bracket 24, 32, it is equal to 3, 4. So the price of book is three ringgits and price of pen is four ringgits question three give one example of problem in real life situation either in engineering business or economics to show application of solving system of linear equation with three variables the problem statement is three people have go to supermarket to buy groceries madam sam half bought four lambs five chicken and three fish Purchase amount Madam Sam if is eighty five ringgit. Meanwhile, Madam Balkis bought three lambs, two chicken, and three fishes for fifty seven ringgit. And finally, Madam Africa bought four lambs, three chicken, and five fishes for eighty three ringgit. So the question is to determine unit price of lamb, chicken, and fish by using Kramer's rule. You, uh, you can see this slide and showing unit price of lamb, chicken and fish was not given. So we must we must find the x, y, z. For calculation, first we transform keyword into system of linear equation. Keyword you can find in uh, problem segment. And so we get for x plus 3y plus 5z equals to 50. 85 for equation 1, equation 2, 3x plus 3y plus 2z equals to 57 and equation 3, for x plus 5y plus 3z equals to 83. Uh, next, uh, for second, second, we transform, transform system of linear equation into matrix. So in, in, this, in this slide, you can refer. So to find determinant, we refer metric from previous slide. So for the determinant, we get uh, four, 4 open bracket 9 minus 10, close bracket minus 3, open bracket 9 minus 8, close bracket plus 5, open bracket 50 minus 12, close bracket. Uh, so we get 4 times negative 1 minus 3 times 1 plus 5 times 3 so the determ determinant we get x8 uh, next for the for the x we must build matrix x which is we replace column x so uh, for the x we get uh, 85 uh, open bracket 9 minus 10 close bracket minus 3 uh, open bracket 171 minus 166 uh, close bracket plus 5 uh, open bracket 285 minus 249 close bracket uh, next so we get uh, 85 times negative 1 minus 3 times 5 plus 5 times 36 so the for the x we get 18 okay next for metric y like 
we find matrix z x we replace uh, second column into 85 57 and 183 so the y like we find the x we get 4 times 171 minus 166 close bracket minus 85 open bracket 9 minus 8 close bracket plus 5 open bracket 249 minus 228 close bracket so get so we get 4 times 5 uh, minus 85 times 1 plus 5 times 21 so dy we get for 14 so next for matrix z we replace uh, column z which is column third, so third column into 85 157 and 183 so dz we like like we find dy equals to 4 times times 249 minus 200 18 5 close bracket minus 3 times 249 minus 228 close bracket plus 85 times open bracket 50 minus 12 close bracket so we get 4 times negative 13 6 close bracket minus 3 times 21 close bracket plus 85 times 3 close bracket so for the z we get 14 8 so after we find uh, the determinant the x the y and the z we to we can go to final calculation uh, calculation it is x uh, equals to dx over d equals to 18 over 8 so x equals to 10 y equals dy over d so we get 5 and z we we get dz over d so z is equals to 6 so the, vi the final answer is x equals to 10 y equals to 5 and z equals to 6 so let's go to conclusion as a student mastering matrix is crucial for understanding fundamental mathematical concepts and developing problem solving skills it provides a solid foundation for advanced topics like linear algebra algebra and data analysis essential in fields such as engineering computer science and physics additionally Proficiency in matrix and change critical thinking abilities and prepares students for tackling complex problems across various disciplines.